This video is going to focus on a specific passing technique, and that is the laces. Whether you're hitting a, a grass cutter or a daisy cutter, whatever you want to call it, a ping, a driven ball, or maybe even a half volley, it's all with the laces. Now, when would you use a laces pass? More often than, or more often than not, it's when the distance to your target's a little bit farther away. If I have someone really close, I'm probably just gonna use the inside. But if someone is, you know, by that curtain, by that goal down there, farther away, I'm gonna have to get it there. There's defenders in the way, it has to get there quick. And a laces pass travels farther and much faster. So, next, let's go over the technique. The first way you can play a laces pass is on the ground. Most people call this a daisy cutter, they call it a grass cutter. Why do they call it that? Well, when you hit a laces pass and you come through and under the ball, the ball is going to start spinning this way and continue with backspin. So one that's on the ground is going to be going like this, spinning backwards on the ground. That's why they call it a daisy cutter or a grass cutter. You're literally cutting the grass with the ball. That's where the nickname comes from. So again, let me review that technique. You're coming off from an angle. You want to come under the ball with your laces. As you drive under it, the ball is going to start to backspin and it's going to drive low. Obviously, you've got to decide if you want on the ground or in the air. For this one, we're focusing on the ground, so you want to kind of punch it. It's more of a punch. I'll show you before I drive it to a target. Let me just show you a technique here off the rebounder or the wall. I'm not going to hit it that hard because the wall is right here, but just for technique, I'm here, I'm under. You can see I'm starting to get that backspin right away. I'm not hitting it that hard. I'm just trying to show you an example. Come under the ball, boom. A little bit farther back, so you can see a little bit more spin. Just punching, getting that backspin, driving through it, cutting that grass, daisy cutter, driving it along the ground, going under the ball at the bottom, hit that backspin. One more. That is your laces pass on the ground. Now let me give you a more realistic example. Say that's my teammate over there, that small white net, and I gotta find him so that person, that person can quickly turn and go upfield through the curtain. Say the defender is where the balls are. That's not that far away, so I have to get the ball there quick so my teammate can quickly turn before the defender closes down his space. So laces on the ground is a great option. It's gonna get there fast. It might be bouncing a little bit. It might be a little bit high, but the goal is to get it to my teammate's feet quickly. Now for a quick demo. So you can see, that's your laces technique. To be honest, a lot of players prefer that one bounce into their foot. You saw it bounce once and it hit the net. That's gonna bounce up perfectly, bop, bop, boom, right into my teammate's foot so they can get out. But you can see how fast that traveled versus me maybe trying to go like this with the inside. It just takes longer, it's rolling longer. That one just zips quicker. It might skip a bunch of times like a rock on water or it might skip once like I just did. But again, that's your laces pass low to feet. The second version, I think it's pretty obvious. It's just, it's the same thing, just in the air. Sometimes you gotta go over players. You might be a, a right back playing the left winger and you have 12, 13 guys from both teams in your way. So you're trying to bypass everybody and get it to the other side. But again, that ball can't be in the sky forever. If you hang it up there, you know, or lob it up there, people are gonna have time to get underneath it and, and close down your teammate. So I gotta zip it there on a line drive that's what you call a ping or a driven ball. So same technique, but this time in the air. This time my target is going to be the futsal net, which is the square net right in the middle where the soccer balls are. On this one, that target's a little bit close, so I'm not really pretending that's my player. I'm pretending that's my passing lane. So I'm driving through that, similar to a golf simulator. You stand right by the golf simulator, but you're playing through that screen. So I'm gonna drive the ball through that futsal net. Now a quick demo for a ping. So you can see that ball is driven. It's relatively straight. It doesn't have too much curve on it or whip. It's a straight ball driving through my target so it gets to its destination quickly. That's the whole point. A driven ball gets there faster than an inside of the foot pass, especially over long distances. Again, that's laces in the air, passing. Call it a ping, call it a driven ball, call it what you want, but get the ball to your teammate quickly. The last version of the laces pass that I'm gonna go over is the half volley or hitting it off the short bounce. 
on this one, a lot of times you don't have time to trap the ball. And if the ball is bouncing to you like this, I gotta be able to hit it first time my laces still and hit that same technique either to a teammate's feet that we talked about or you know to a teammate in the air like the driven or the ping. But again, the key here is it's first time, it's off the bounce, and again, you're still trying to get that backspin. When I do the half volley, I try to strike down on the ball. When that ball is bouncing, I'm coming down and across. So if my hand is my foot, as I come down and across the ball, I'm trying to come under. And as you can see, I'm almost coming down, and that's how you get that backspin, down and under. With the foot, you'll see I'm not gonna hit that hard, just come here and pop. You can clearly see that backspin. Let me show you the spin now, the technique, you know, over a short distance. The ball is bouncing, come down and across it, and get that backspin. When the ball is up in the air, you don't have time to trap it, down and across. So you can clearly see the backspin that I'm getting on that ball with my foot. For the last one, I'll go small nut again. Trying to zip the ball towards my teammate's feet off the half volley. Coming across it, getting that spin. I might even get a little bit of curve on it. Not necessarily, it can be straight, it can whip, but again, coming down and across the ball with those laces. So you can see, that one was really flat. That would definitely be called a daisy cutter. You saw, skip, 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 skip. But again, I waited for that right moment. I caught that half bounce. And again, that's a pass. That's a good pass that anyone would feel comfortable trapping. But the main thing is it got there quickly. That's the goal when you're using these laces passes. There you have it. You need this technique in your locker. I see players today that still can't do this or they can do it with their strong foot, but not their weak foot. You need to master the laces. Whether you're passing on the ground or in the air or off the bounce, sometimes inside is not the best option. So it's good to have that laces technique in your pocket when needed. Practice this, get it down, master it, both feet. Keep working till you get it. Again, hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.